This video will show how to create a custom stats report. I've logged into my test team and landed on my schedule page. From there, I'll click statistics and the gray menu bar. Since this is a test team, I don't have the typical default reports, but you would see that if you do purchase this program. To add my own report, I'll click the add report button, and then I'll name my report. I'll choose what data to include, whether or not I wish to count buys, and whether or not I'd like the report to be public. I'll click Next, and then I'll choose the data for duels, events, levels, grades, and wrestlers. If I want to select everything, I'll just leave the shaded bar in the blank spot at the top. If I want to select one item, I'll just click there. If I had several events and wanted to collect multiples but not all of them, I would use the control button and click another event. So I'm going to leave this like this for now and click Next. Then I'll add what statistics I want to include in this report. So in the new column field, I'll click the drop down and choose what I want to include, then click Add. And you'll see that that gets added here so you can keep track of what you've added. Okay, I'm going to click Next. And then for the grouping, you'll select how you want to group them. So I'm going to choose event and add that and then click next. So I'm grouping by event. I can change the font size if I'd like. I can change the font or background color. So I'll just click here and then I'll make it black. Okay, you can see that changes. I'll close the color box and I'm all set with my colors. For sorting, the entry type, I would like to sort by falls. The data type, I'm just using wrestler data in this report. And then to sort, I would like it to be ascending. Again, this is all your own preference. I'll click add so that those are saved and then click next. Now you can see that my report shows here. When you have multiple reports and you want to reorder them, just click these arrows and then make sure that you click the save order button. Otherwise, that would revert anytime you navigated away from this page. You can click the red X to delete any report. You can click this paper stack icon to duplicate a report if you wish to make some minor edits with the data you already have saved. And then this sheet of paper icon is the view. So that'll open in a new tab and you can see here the data. Since this is a test team, I have very limited data. Um, if you have entered all of your results and stats, you would have a great deal more, and you would probably want to sort those in different ways. When you click the name of the report, you can go through and change any decisions that you made previously. You can do that on the edit report, columns, groupings, and then each time you change something, you'll want to click the Save button. You can also view the report from here, and then to get back to your reports list, just click reports in the gray menu bar.